Hey everybody, it's Jasmine. So today I'm bringing you guys another wear test video. I love doing these type of videos because I feel like it's so helpful for not only myself, but you guys as well as consumers. And I hope that this video helps you guys find the perfect drugstore setting spray that's also cruelty free. So here I am going to be testing out seven different setting sprays, three from Catrice, three from Wet n Wild. These are their new flavored setting sprays. <laughs> and then I have one from CoverGirl that was recently launched. This is from their Active Collection. So I am pretty much just going to be showing you guys the wear test after around 8 to 10 hours of wear because I wanted to give you guys a really good wear test. So I decided to wear it for that amount of time. I am a normal skin type so the only area if I don't set my face, I really just get oily like right in the middle of my eyebrows it's pretty normal for me but honestly it's the butt crack of winter and it's so cold and I don't really do anything as far as exercising is concerned so I don't really sweat that often and I am just hoping that this helps give you guys like the honest wear test of things and like my other wear test videos I do try and make all my complexion products the exact same for the whole entire week of me wearing these setting sprays I did like the exact same look so I will have every single product that I use in the description box of this video and without further ado let's start off with Catrice I don't know about you guys, but lately it seems like Catrice setting sprays are making the next big move. Everybody has been talking about it, and so I went ahead and tested all these out for you because I'm genuinely curious about it. So the first one that I tried out was their matte finish spray. Now this one claims to be anti-shine, lightweight, quick drying, and can be used for setting your makeup or priming your skin. For 1.69 fluid ounces, you are paying $7.99 for it, which I feel like is a little expensive, but I will say that after 8 hours, I like the way that my skin looked. It looked very fresh and very dewy, which I... I love on its own but if I was oily and this claimed to be matte, it doesn't give me the mattifying finish. I love the way that it looks but it didn't own up to its claim which I felt like if you are going to label yourself a matte finish spray, I better be very matte at the end of the day or at least have my makeup last a little longer. I felt like my makeup lasted around the same time. I mean, I wear this foundation combination all the time. You guys see it in my videos and it gets me through the day and I just felt like this honestly just gave me more dew. So if you are normal, you may like this, but if you're oily, I really just feel like you can skip on this or if you need something to refresh your skin, then this is definitely the one to go for. The next one from Catrice is their Long Lasting Multi-Talent Fixing Spray. So this is supposed to extend your makeup and surprisingly at the end of the day I felt like my skin was a little bit more matte than the mattifying spray and you could definitely see that on the forehead area. You could see that on the area where my eyebrows are it's a little less shiny. It's still kind of shiny around my nose area but honestly it looks really good, a little bit more mattifying, so if you are oily, you might want to prefer the long-lasting setting spray over the mattifying one. And honestly, if you've never tried Catrice setting sprays, look at this mist. Oh, that is beautiful. That is just, it, it has like this really nice long yet refined mist, but you could feel the mist on your face and it doesn't feel like, hmm. Do you know how MAC Fix Plus gets? Like if you don't squeeze the nozzle all the way down, it kind of skirt, squirts at your face. It's not cute and it's not nice, but this one, it just feels so luxurious. And low key, I feel like for that reason, the $7.99 price point is worth it. I, I genuinely feel like that because there's so many setting sprays on the market that just suck. And this one is beautiful. So if you've never tried it, now's your time. 
The last one from Catrice is their Illuminating Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. And this one you have to shake before you use it because this one does have little pearls in it. So it does make your skin look very luminous and very glowy. Now at the end of the day, I noticed that this definitely made my skin very dewy. And it looks like I'm kind of oily, but honestly, I was kind of living for it. Like outside in the natural light it looked really good so it it just makes your skin look very glowy dewy I felt like it didn't make the exterior of my foundation feel sticky or tacky because sometimes some dewy setting mists do that like they they mess up your foundation and make it very sticky so then when you touch your face your foundation comes off this still held it in place while making it look more illuminated Let's move on into Wet n Wild. So Wet n Wild actually launched these three setting sprays during December. I bought it when they launched and I meant to do a dedicated review on it, but I thought it would be weird because these are setting sprays and I thought, you know, I need to find a better concept for setting spray. So that's why I wanted to do this video. So this kind of kickstarted it all. So I'm going to start off with their cucumber setting spray. Now, if you're familiar with Mari Badescu, he has his cucumber spray, his rose spray, uh, lavender, and then he has a new orange one. Now I kind of based off the cucumber smell off of his cucumber green tea setting spray and it doesn't smell the same at all. If you're familiar with Bath & Body Works Cucumber Melon Lotion, this kind of smells like it. A little bit more watered down, a little bit more dulled down, but it has that same fragrance to it. Um, but at the end of the day, I noticed that my skin looked really soft and dewy and it was weird because it looked blurred and typically that that's something that never really happens especially with the foundation combination that I use I kind of I mean I'm wearing it today but it just it just looks like skin and it just it makes it look better so this this one's really really good and by the way the wet and wild photo focus sprays in general claim that it's a prep set and refresh type of a product so you can use it to prime your skin set your skin or if you just need something to spray on your skin to refresh it then this will do it for you this also retails for $4.99, so not that bad for 1.52 fluid ounces. So this is just a little bit less product than the Catrice, and it is just a couple dollars cheaper as well. Next is their Coconut Setting Spray. Now this one is so different to me because I associate coconut with skincare for some weird reason and for this one to be like a makeup item I, I kind of just felt weird about it but this one actually smells like the Pacifica coconut probiotic cream if you ever use that because I rave about it so much if you ever actually tried it it smells identical so it's very sweet very coconutty and it smells Hmm, I want to say like a little sister to the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer as well, so it has a very summery scent. At the end of the day, I looked really, really dewy, and I just felt like out of all the setting sprays that I tried, this one really made me look oily. And I noticed that during the day that I was wearing this, I noticed it within like three hours, five hours, and I'm like, oh, I'm starting to look not like myself this isn't what i go for so for that reason i feel like i would probably use this as a refresher spray as opposed to a setting spray if you really do enjoy that dewy skin look then you'll probably really like this but for me i didn't think that it was my personal taste because it just went so far out of hand <laughs> Last but not least, we have the Rose Setting Spray. Now, this one is actually really, really nice, and this actually smells a little sweeter than the Mario Badescu Rose Setting Spray. His Rose Setting Spray, I feel like, just smells a little dulled down. I don't know, this one smells sweet, it smells floral, but it doesn't smell like 
luxury makeup you know what I mean like you know how luxury makeup kind of has that extreme grandma scent this one doesn't have that it smells really really fresh and I really do love it now at the end of the day I am glad to say that this one made my skin look so good very similar to the cucumber one it didn't make it look so overly oily but it made it look fresh and it stayed like that through the whole day and that just looked so good it looked so good and it made my skin look blurred that is amazing that is what I'm looking for it is just it's a match made in heaven I don't know what to tell you it's really good also I forgot to mention the spritzer on this this one has more power to it it has more it has more of a squirt she's a <laughs> she's a squirt <laughs> But if you're comparing the Wet n Wild spray to the Catrice one, your face definitely gets a little bit more drenched with this one a little quicker. It does give you a wider spray, so it does coat your skin with less pumps of the spray. So it is really good in that aspect and I really do like it. So uh, this one is definitely a plus in the spritzer category. Last but not least, we have the CoverGirl Outlast Active Cooling Setting Mist. Now, this one is an interesting setting spray because it claims to be a cooling setting spray and it also claims to have an all-day wear. Now, I really don't understand this because it says that it is transfer-proof, smudge-proof, and it will seal it in, and that it is cooling. Now, I don't see any of that. And I think that's so strange, right? Because when I was spraying this, I will show you guys right now. When I spray this, it is so fine. It is almost as fine, if not even finer, than the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Like, the particles of this are just so thin that you barely feel it on the skin. But you definitely see a difference in your skin at the end of the day. Now, I actually got pretty oily with this one. And I don't want to say oily. I want to say maybe dewy. That I feel like that's a better word. Um, it just made my skin just look very glossy and as if I was actually sweating. Now that kind of goes in tune with the whole active collection because you want to look like you're at the gym, you've been working out, and for that factor, yes, I can agree that it does make you look like you've been active, but as far as the coolingness goes, with it being such a fine mist, you're not getting that cooling effect. If you were to spray the Catrice or the Wet n Wild, you get a lot of that product on your skin, and that is what makes it feel like you are being cooled down, because when I do my setting sprays, what I do is I spray, and then I take a fan, and I fan it off. And that that to me instantly gives my face a cooling effect and when I did that trick with this product in particular, I didn't feel it at all. As far as price is concerned, with CoverGirl products, I tend to notice that the prices fluctuate between stores. So I'm on the CoverGirl website and it says that at Walgreens they're $9, at CVS they're $9.50, on Amazon it's $12 like that's crazy um, so you can definitely find this product for cheaper depending on where you go um, I recommend trying to find a place that has really good coupons so CVS in my opinion has really good coupons um, if you really want this then I recommend just probably buying it in store as a recap, I really recommend the Catrice Long Lasting Setting Spray, the Wet n Wild Rose and Cucumber Spray, and as far as things that I would probably skip out on, I would say the CoverGirl one and the Coconut from the Wet n Wild. The ones from Catrice are probably my honorable mentions because I will use it, but they're just not my favorite as far as this is concerned, you know? I hope you guys really enjoy these type of comparison videos. Uh, let me know how you guys like them as well, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Peace out, Girl Scouts. <laughs>